Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. I'm Matt Acheny. That's Ben Mankiewicz. That's Alonzo Duraldi. That's Christy Lemire. I am very excited because we are going to talk about the worst movies of 2016. Woo! Oh, there are so, so good. many. There are so many. Right? I, did, I did my top ten list. I couldn't. Including the election. Oh, oh, I couldn't that's a whole other segment on this oh, network. Wait, sorry, so yeah. I started best. Do you want to start worst? No. Nope. Other side of the table. Do you nope. want to start worst? Sure. <laughs> Fucking Warcraft. In a year <laughs> of movies that were assault of pixels, that were just like completely green screen fakery, which is fine, and I get it, it's a way to make movies, but it's also a way to make crappy movies and a way to uh, make airless movies that have no story and that don't engage in any way. Uh, the one I had the hardest time sitting through was Warcraft. That that was one of those films where I could just feel my soul draining out of the base <laughs> oh, of my spine. Oh, come on. No, I'm serious. It's not even in the bottom ten. It's on my top, my worst ten list. Uh, I, it's not I, even that, in was, the that is ten. the worst not, time I had at the movie. Not, not even Are we going to get uh, an actor who crosses over then? And is, will Ben Foster be the only actor to be on somebody's oh, best uh, list? Oh, uh, could also be. Yeah. 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 No, and, and mm -hmm. Ben Schnetzer, who I think is like the breakout star this year from Goat and Snowden, is the one thing in this movie that's kind of okay. Like, was he an orc? I don't remember who. He's, was, like, he's like person? he's like the devious assistant uh, mage or something. I don't. Know I don't remember because I, I really. It's a blur. It's a blur of like orcs all looking alike. I don't remember. It, and it was noisy and assaultive. And 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 <laughs> you know uh, that Stop Ruth that and Ruth <laughs> Nega got to be in that and loving this year. So that, there, oh there's God. an alpha to omega for there you. There you go. So that, that's a good. Yeah, it's a good bad choice. You. You, you like love the video game and you. No, I don't. I hardly ever play the video game. I didn't think it was that terrible. <laughs> all right. Look, right. there's, then, there's what, worse movies than that. What do you um, Such as. <laughs> all right. So there, there's a lot of contenders. Uh, I almost picked Zoolander two. Yeah, um, that was that was right. deadly. I, a movie that. Mm, was probably 20 years too late. Uh, I almost picked Bad Santa too, mm. uh, which was terrible, absolutely unwatchable, far, far worse than Warcraft. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna fight this battle. Uh, in the end, I'm going with the Divergent series, Ooh. Allegiant, Ooh. because yeah. that was a movie you came into. I have no idea what's going on. Don't care about anybody. Yeah. There are not CGI characters. I care more about the orcs in Warcraft <laughs> than I do about anybody in Allegiant. And that series, that movie went so badly, they're going to bump the series to TV now. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's right. That's right. the fourth movie. Because they split right. the third They're going to bump it to TV. Yeah, I, and mark my words, they won't get it on a network. They'll have to do something like... Spike. I was going to say Freeform. Spike. Oh, no, no. I was going to guess Spike. Like Freeform. Freeform. It'll have to be something like that. Or like... Yeah, it'll be something. Yeah, like if I never form. see another Divergent movie or another Maze Runner movie, I'll find. Yeah, that. so I'd go and look. Like I love Shailene Woodley. I think she's a great actress. Mm. I sh and you know, there's there's real actors in this series. Octavia Spencer. Octavia Spencer. I, Julianne this, Moore. Julianne Moore. I, this is terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And wait, is I, she in that? No, she's in Hunger she? Games. Thank you. Who's the bad? Oh, it was Kate Winslet. Wasn't it Kate Winslet? Who was uh, and the And Naomi Watts. Actually, I think kills Kate Winslet. No, Octavia Spencer is in this. You no, know, she but is, but also Kate villain? Winslet or Naomi also Watts. Kate, right. The, who, right. Who's the villain and, in like the white cream color? It's, colored, like, it's like, like every Olympian actor Winslet. has to do right. their shit. Julianne Moore was in movie, Hunger Games. You know, like Meryl Streep's right. in The Giver. So and, and what's Meryl his name from um, the newsroom? Um, Jeff. Bridges. Jeff Bridges. No, no, no Jeff, Jeff Daniels. Daniels. Jeff Daniels. <laughs> He's in Bill right. Paxton. Jeff Bridges These movies are so <laughs> this right. Like I'm, I'm remembering this more than anyone really should. They're a blur. They're all right. the same movie. Now look, like the people who've read those books and love those movies, I God help you. There is some neat future architecture in that movie. That's about it. Um, <laughs> all right, I, was saying, I haven't seen either of those movies. I, now, I don't. Was, I was going to this you week. Live for God's sake, don't. Now I'm not going to. Um, uh, I, most people would not, uh, I think, agree. Uh, uh, London has fallen. Uh, Ooh, oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Because, like, I got it. There are worse movies, start to finish, technically, and you know, it, it's dramatic. It's significantly worse than Olympus has fallen, which is significantly worse. <laughs> Missing than White a key, down. yes, a key cast. Uh, yes, but it has, a, man, it has a Mankiewicz shaped hole in it. <laughs> no, but, but there was a. Like I get it, I'm not so uh, so much of a snowflake uh, <laughs> that I can't handle a movie where the terrorists are extremists from the Middle East. I get that. That's a real issue in the world. You can portray that in the movies. There is a meanness and a senselessness to this movie. There is, in fact, one scene where Gerard Butler sort of happily 
makes a terrorist he has downed suffer a little bit more. Uh, and they're like, that, that felt good with Aaron Eckhart. They're like high-fiving each other after torture. And, uh, you know, uh, movies are at their best, um, you know, not when they sort of, let's put it this way, movies are at their worst when they pile on uh, a movement that represents the worst of us. And that's what mm. I felt throughout London Has Fallen. I hated it with every fiber of my being from start to finish. It, it's ugly. It is an ugly, mean-spirited, cruel movie. And the same people were the terrorists in Olympus Has Fallen. And I got, I had no, I got no beef with it. You know, right. were they Koreans in Olympus as well? They were Koreans, but I mean, but I don't. I, I'm not objecting merely because sure, no, no, were, no, no. the I terrorists were from the Middle East. I got no, I got no, I got no beef with that. There is a, a, a cruelty and a senselessness and a and an ugly jingoism to to London has fallen, which I uh, truly, truly hated. Nobody should see it. Nobody should rent it. Nobody should watch it on HBO or anywhere else. Okay, my pick is also ugly, but in a totally different way, and that is Alice through the Looking Glass. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna go with Mother's Day. When I mentioned oh. CG before, <laughs> also terrible. Oh man, yeah, um, that was another one. Mother's Day, but I, kind of, I feel kind of bad trashing the last Gary Marshall movie. Although it's on my worst of list, um, I feel kind of bad making it the absolute worst. So that's like one A. Um, but that's bad. Yeah, my Big Fat Grape Wedding too is also bad. Speaking of bad, needless sequels that came a lot of years later. I saw it on a plane, which is I think maybe the, the perfect way to see <laughs> my Big Fat Grape. In and out of napping. Yeah. So Alice with Looking Glass. I mean, it's just. Garish. It's just painful to look at, like the eyeballs hurt in, in a different way from Warcraft, which is yeah. like dingy. This is like color vomit, yeah. like explosion of just Lisa scenery Frank. and stuff. <laughs> and what a waste of this cast. And Johnny Depp, god damn it. Enough with like the prosthetics and the makeup and the wacky eyes. I'm so wonderfully magical. I'm just sick of it. Like, although the best performance of the year was Johnny Depp doing Donald Trump. Of, no, no, not of the year, but his best performance of the year, I should, oh, I should rephrase that. Right. And that's, again, him underneath prosthetics and makeup right, and crap. Right, right. But that at least has some nuggets of truth in it. This is just like, everyone's just going through the motions of look how whimsical and like, you know, cotton candy colored it all is. And it's the only thing worse than a Tim Burton it. movie is a Tim Burton movie that Tim Burton didn't make. He didn't make this. This is James Bobbin who did The Muppets. Yeah. Um, but it's a waste of like me of And Kroska. The Muppets is good. Uh, yeah, that yes, is good. Yes. This is not. And, not. and Anne Hathaway and uh, Reese Ifans and Jeffrey Tambor and lots of people that we like. Yeah, no, there, you know, there are mm, so many movies mm. that just felt like this FX assault on my eyeballs. Right. Like that and. Uh, X Men Apocalypse mm -hmm. and uh, X Men Apocalypse was bad. Yeah, that was yeah just like so. You know, I mean, uh, not yeah. as bad as Batman v Superman. BV, I would say BVS and Suicide Squad, but that, they were bad in different yeah. ways. But the thing yeah. is, this is trying to be like whimsical and magical, and it's just joyless. It's just like noise and color and giant set pieces one after another, and there's no momentum to it. It's just a slog. Yeah, thing. and the whole plot is like we have to travel through time because the Mad Hatter is sad. Yeah, but there are no stakes. <laughs> there are absolutely no stakes. So, um, yeah, that. It's my choice in a year of really bad movies. What else would we not mention that's bad? Oh, man. I, I had a whole list. <laughs> I, go to the rap. I had a whole yeah, list. I, had uh, a whole list also. I I'm trying to put them all yeah. out of my mind. Well, we mentioned, I mean, you know, we met Suicide we mentioned Squad, that. Batman versus Superman. Yeah. Those were so yeah, those Zoolander 2. Uh, yeah. uh, trolls, I hated. I know most I know people liked it more than I did. That is um, also an eyeball assault, though. I will yeah. give you that. Okay. Um, so, bad stuff. Uh, I wonder, what are the um, Razzies? The Razzies will be the. Day, day before, before the, the Oscars. Oscars. Right. Have we had Razzie yeah. nominations yet? Yeah, not, they're, they're, they, they're, they're, they're kind of lazy. That, Who do they pick? I know. The they're, usual suspect. Right. The, the Razzies, I, you know, I think people bring this up every year. Like, they present an opportunity to really dive deep into the, the wide pool of crappy movies that get made every year, and they tend to focus on a few low-hanging fruit it's titles easy. and just, like, right. go, go wild on those. It's all layups for yeah. them. Oh, you know what yeah. I was going to mention also really fast? Um, I was thinking about picking Collateral Beauty. I was going to say Collateral Beauty, yeah. But it's so wonderfully strange <laughs> that it's kind of worth seeing, so I kind of can't trash it entirely. It is, well, like, Dave White has a different, he has, he has the half-star movie, which is a movie that's a piece of shit that you should never see, and the zero-star movie, which is a movie that's a piece of shit that you must see immediately. <laughs> and oh, so Collateral Beauty is a zero-star yeah. movie. I'm going to steal that, because I think I gave... Uh, London has fallen as a zero. I need to give it like a zero point five. Yes, like that. And, okay. right. There's a difference. I got it. Good. Bye. <laughs>